Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Just show you a little bit of what I'm doing to clean up this uh, rear part of the frame. Uh, I ain't trying to make it look pretty or anything, but uh, I'm just, all these gaps that are typically there from the factory, welding all those suckers up, like little spots that they didn't do. I'm um, just using my Chicago welder 90 amp from Harbor Freight um, flux core welding uh, one thing I'm I'm cleaning up here it ain't pretty flux core for you though um, is uh, this beam that goes across this is what your struts mount to the gas struts that is uh, and mine had big old gaps right there, not counting the rust pits that had weakened this over time. And I could literally move this with my hand back and forth. So I went ahead and welded those up on both sides. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Watch. I don't think I can show it to you. Anyways, I can move that back and forth with my hand just barely. Um, what I'm going to do to remedy that, I'm going to cut a couple of triangle pieces of uh, uh, gussets and put here, here, and in the center and uh, weld those in. That'll be make that 100% stout once again. Uh, this rear end where the bumper attaches, I'll show you. See this side? That big old holes. Um, Pretty ridiculous uh, there is no strength to this bar whatsoever uh, even these rear ones there's no strength because uh, they're not boxed in I understand why they did it it's a crush zone for the car you want this to crush but these cars crush so easily that I disagree I'm in the collision repair industry and this model car on these rear are horrible. They should not be designed like this. Yes, they need a crush zone, but they don't need how weak this crush zone is. It needs to be beefed up. Uh, I'm going to make sure everything on this car is 100% is safe and secure for my family. We're going to go on a road trip to Route 66 uh, when this car is done. I don't care if we can't afford it or I got to take out a loan or whatever. I'm going to make that trip a vacation trip with my family in this car. Um, it's one of my life goals that is going to happen before my kids get older and move out. Um, I love my son and daughter and if anything ever happens to me, I want them to have at least had that trip with me and have this car as a family heirloom. This is not a car that I'm building for pure pleasure and fun. That's just a bonus. I want to give them a legacy, not a legacy, but a something they can always fall back on. If something happens to me and I'm never around, they start going through hard times, you're making bad choices. Um, I want them to have this to remember me by and remember everything that I've tried to instill into them. Um, I'm not going to go too in depth on all that, but, or make it, I don't, I don't want it to sound gruesome or gory, um, but it's the truth. Uh, I love my kids and wife to death and I wouldn't have it any other way but right now even when I get sick and tired of working on this because I've been working on it for seven years uh, the body at least I've owned the car probably longer than that since my son was born or before my son was born and uh, I always tell him this is his car, this is his car, and sometimes he, he used to really want to work on his car, but now at the age of seven, he's got, he'd rather play video games 
but I don't blame him. At that age, I would have too. But he understands and knows it's his car. Uh, right now, it's still just sitting out there. Uh, I had it up on those four before stands and the wind blew it over. And uh, luckily it didn't land on its side. That would have been horrible. Uh, it just fell down on its bottom. Um, rain and water gets in it, but it's poor 15 and uh, lizard skin over that. Actually, it's a pox poor 15. Well, and the trunk is just poor 15. Everywhere else, it's lizard skin. No, it's a. Uh, what did I do? I put new floor. Oh, I put two brand spanking new floor pans. I uh, welded everything up, put a key hair on any of my bad welds, smoothed the whole floor out just as good as it would be on the outside slick. Um, epoxy primed it, 2K, high build primed it, sanded that down, re 2K primed it, sanded that, or scuffed that, uh, and put uh, three gallons of lizard skin sound control and then lizard let that cure overnight like it says and then I put the lizard skin uh, ceramic coating on top of that so and it's been sitting outside for a good three years now and uh, water gets in the floor and there is absolutely no rust coming back it just sits in there or runs out into the drain holes that I have unplugged uh, when you build it right it's amazing how well something will hold up just sitting outside. Uh, you'll see some surface rust. That's where I had been sanding on it, and I never put any more primer on over that. I'm not too concerned about that at all. Uh, it'll sand right off. Uh, my old little bit truck. Love this truck. Sucker, sucker will get up and go too. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, that's it for now. I'll hire you later.